Hey, storytellers out there. Uh, so as you can see, that's the Canon M50. I'm going to go over my new setup. Okay. For you guys. All right. So um, the Canon M50 Mark II, that's what I'm using. And I've got this new mic, which is the Shure M7B. Um, so you can hear my voice better. You obviously, whoo, clarity. I'm using the 28 millimeter lens. I bought an extra lens, a separate lens, a 28 millimeter and, or 22 millimeter, 22 millimeter. And it has the really good a a aperture opening, right? So that it gives it that depth of field, um, thing. And I'm, and I'm, I have it on, I have the camera set to like autofocus and face track. Uh, I have it set to, you know, motion capture. And if you if you look through the, the the image there, there's two things plugged into the M50, the battery cord, a cord with the, you know the faux battery with the power extension coming out of it. And you have to buy that separately, and also the mini HDMI to <clears throat> is it HDMI or let me check real quick. Ah yes. <laughs> to cam link to the cam link 4k which then goes into the USB so that's the, that's the thing you got to get the camera you got to get the lens you got to get the separately the battery cable you know the faux battery with the cable that comes out for power and then the mini um, HDMI to HDMI to the cam link 4k separate little thing there and I'm, the Elgato cam link 4k got that and then that plugs into the USB for the camera and for the mic the sure mb i've got the you know the xlr cable here coming out that goes into the cloud lifter you guys have probably seen this thing and that does help a little bit about five to ten percent it gives a better volume for the sure um hundred you know hundred bucks I'll, I'll go over. And then the xlr goes into my mini i got the mini go xlr Okay, so I got the cable going in there, the XLR, and then the USB to the PC, which is the power as well. I also got, yeah, thank you YouTube, all you guys that, that put stuff on, so that's why I'm making this video. I don't, you know, I know mine aren't, aren't that great, but um, I'm still just going to go ahead and do that. I got my headphones, and I was using the Bluetooth, but, and there is a video out there of some guy who solved the Bluetooth thing, and I, um... But my Bluetooth to Windows 10 is very unreliable, I'm hearing, and I've experienced. And I don't want it to conk out when, when I'm talking. I really like the Bluetooth because it's so convenient. I can get up and walk off and just keep wearing my headset. But uh, I don't like, you know, the thought of it just dropping out every now and then when I'm in the middle of a recording. And, you know, four or five people are waiting on me. <clears throat> so I just got the cable, or the, the 3.5 jack there that goes into the front of the mini go xlr and it also has this but you had to buy this too the i forgot what it's called but it's um uh what's it called it's a it's a very basic thing that they use it brings down it it reduces the noise factor of the two different things um i'm too lazy to here, let me just look real quick on my Amazon. I know, I, I just, I know this is how I roll. Um, I just ordered on Amazon, so I'll just look at my orders. What it's called, it's called a, there it is, a ground loop noise isolator for car audio. This one is Bazine with a B, design with, design with a B. Ground loop noise isolator. That helps, because yeah, when, when you plug in the, the, the headphones, straight into the go xlr you hear like a you know, so um so there's that and all the setup was 2500 somewhere in there everything i had to get and it took me like a few days to get everything and not every video had everything explained that you had needed to get i had to go hunt down stuff like i literally got the m the canon m50 mark ii and then i didn't have the mini jack the mini hdmi out to the cam link for, you know i didn't have that cable and i didn't have the power um and i did buy the i don't I, I, oh i have it in the trash right here i did buy the i think overpriced 
So here's the Go XLR box, the Sure. Seven B, and this is the cloud box. I got this at the Guitar Center, the famous one right there in Hol Sunset Hollywood. Um, I'm trying to find that other box. Oh, here's the uh, twenty-two. Yeah, with the two point F two F two um, stop aperture. Here's the box. Um, this thing about this, um, you know, that come it comes with the power cord, the battery, the faux battery power cord, um, USB interface cable, which I don't even think I need that one. The only thing I needed was the power adapter, power adapter, compact power adapter, and uh, which probably you could buy it separately, not for. Anyway, wait a second here. That that was the power adapter that came in there. You know, 50, obviously the box is there. Okay. I'm throwing this all out. I don't even care anymore. Okay. So that's the setup as far as hardware. Um so let me go to sorry I'm all racky rack here. Let me go to I'm gonna switch cameras now to show you. And I have two lights up there that are cheap that I've always had those. <clears throat> They were originally over on both sides, but now I had to move them there just to get the lighting here uh, um, to work better, you know, because it was really, you know, there's a few adjustments there and there's some YouTube channels that show you how to set up the M50, um, all the little settings in there and, and sort of get it the way you want. But I do want to go over the, the mini Go XLR setup because that one was, the, that one was rough. That was a tough one. And, and then there's better videos for it, but I'm just going to go over it anyway. Okay. So. I'm going to switch. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Got a DX. It's weird. In OBS, uh, I noticed this is important to know. The M50, the or the Camlink 4 thing is very finicky. You have to only have it running in one window. Like, you know, when you switch to different windows, if it's still running in the previous window, everything kind of doesn't work. And I noticed that Zoom doesn't work if you have the Cam 4 um video capture in OBS still on. You have to like turn that off or remove it. Otherwise when when you when I get the zoom in there for OB when I'm recording uh you know all the players, it doesn't it freezes. So that's something to know. Okay. Um so let me see. yeah I gotta turn off this camera. I gotta deactivate or I can actually remove them. So let me see so I'm removing that one and then I'm going to my YouTube where I have and then I gotta turn this one Ugh, this isn't gonna work. See, like I'm trying to cam back. Let me turn that one off as well, and then turn it back on and see if it, you know, switches. Come on. Do the cam link. No, it doesn't. See, see how I can't get the cam link now to re-engage. So I might have to turn it off. But this is good to know. Uh, let me try to deactivate. Okay, and then. Try it again. Oh, there it goes. Okay. It's weird. It's yeah. Okay. So, you know, I had to deactivate, remove it, you know, get it to go to the other window to, to, to re-engage the cam link. All right. Let me move this. Oop, not that. Let me move me up here. So this is the software you got to download when you get the Go XL Mini R. That was, that was relatively easy. Um, but it really, it was, it was kind of a tough, tough setup. I'm sweating just thinking about it. Ugh. Okay, so. And you definitely, if, after you try something and you feel like it's working, remember to save it here at the, um, oops, here. And then I also finally kind of saved it up here as a, as a, you know, an overall thing. I think this mic profile is just for the mic. And then this one up here is for the whole, all of the different uh, things. Okay. Mic setup. That's the first thing you got to do. Now, I just learned that this is not very accurate. So, but you do want to try to maybe, you know, guesstimate it in the good area here. I am using, the, the mic is actually a dynamic mic. The Shure is actually a dynamic mic. And this took me a, a while to figure out. It was, it was very frustrating. It wouldn't, I had it on dynamic and it would not engage the mic. 
The reason was I had it on the cloud lifter. This cloud lifter thing, which which kind of um, which adds like another twenty decibels or to the 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 sure, you know, the salesman told me that the sure is more silent, so um, you you do need the cloud lifter for it, whatever. But it turns it into a condenser mic. No one told me that. Um, that was kind of a frustrating. Little it took me forever. That's okay. Whatever. So if you're using the cloud lifter with it, which I I actually tested it out, and I do think it's a little uh, better. Yeah, like I said, five to ten percent. It gives you a little more oomph to the voice, and it, and it can, remains clean because it only the cloud lifter thing only amplifies what goes into the mic, not all the stuff that does come into the mic. And only what does get into get in. So that kind of helps make, make it a cleaner amp as, as opposed to amplifying the mic's um, sensitivity. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the setting I have now is pretty good. Like, you're not, you shouldn't hear my mouse click. Ugh. Sounds like, oh no, wait, that might be the other thing. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Let me just go through it all. Whatever. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to test check check this. Cause the mic over here. Oh no, I know. Okay, hold on. Okay, when you have this mic set up, it should not really be the best way to listen to your sounds either. Let me turn it. Okay. You kind of have to get it going. Do about 50 dB for condenser. If you're if you were on dynamic, you would actually have to go a little louder to capture stuff. But whatever, I'm just, this is the setting I have for condenser. Okay, now this should be a little bit better. Let me, I just, I'm just checking something real quick. Yeah, okay. So I don't hear my mouse, okay, which is what I was worried about. And I'll show you that right now. Um, under? So when you set up your mic, and now I did the first thing, which was this. Then this part is really important. Uh, this right here is is actually the, the most important, I guess, I don't know. That it's it's what captures what is what is it capturing, how how strong or weak are you making that? So I'm at negative thirty five, which I found was a, a, a pretty number, a good number. But what, I'm going to take it whatever up, okay, to zero. Now well, listen to this. Oh no, wait, it's the other way around. Okay, so now it made it weaker. Threshold. Okay, that's it's the other way. Okay, now let's say I turned it off. See, now you're hearing all the background noise. You're hearing my mouse, you're hearing, you know, it's the threshold, right? You're hearing my mouse, you're hearing my, I got, <laughs> I have a cook two aquariums with bubbles going, you know, doofus. Okay, so, and it's right there on my desk too. It's got a little shrimp, a little mini shrimp and snails in there. Oh, I'm supposed to go do some fish breeding stuff. Oh my gosh, I gotta go do that. Okay, anyway, back to this real quick. Oh my God, I think they're breeding right now, making eggs. I gotta go. Capture some. I'm trying to make some cool goldfish. Anyway, okay, I'm at negative 37, so that should have sort of that kind of. So you now you don't hear the mouse, you don't hear the the aquarium going. You just hear my voice, and it's through the cloud lifter and through another setting where the voice is is is, uh, you know, turned up a bit. So the attenuation, all this stuff, I'm is is about how much it, you know, cuts off and and um. Uh, gathers that uh, that the voice you're doing between the silences. That's what these are. So those are the settings that I found on YouTube. The different people, all a little bit different, but in that same area. Okay, the the equalizer. I didn't. It's it's kind of your preferences. Whether you want to, you know, eh, or eh, but it's kind of hard to hear it because you got to hear it yourself and and then you really got to record it and then re-listen to it. And what did you do? But I'm, so I'm just kind of doing what I kind of saw on YouTube, like a little bit of that whatever. So the equalizers kind of you know keep it really kind of close. Um, I think this is the more bassy one is the high, I don't know, whatever. Okay. What was that one? So the compressor one, all right, this one mattered to the players. I have, uh, this one here helps with the volume and so does the makeup gain. Uh, so this one, you know, okay. Oh, I see it's a little loud. All right. A little hot. See? So this one kind of at the final volume kind of thing. And, um, and then this one is similar or da, da, da. hello, hello, hello. Yeah. See? Um, the thresholds are, I'm going to keep it at what I had it before. I'll do 20, 20, 20, and I'm going to go back to 18, 18, 18. 
we go to 21 21 somewhere around there 20 okay so that yeah that, that threshold there seems to help capture the voice and then the makeup gain also uh, elevates the voice you know i don't know exact right okay Whew. so that's the mic setup okay and then um mixer is th these are important for who am i gonna go through all this too okay okay um so obviously channel one is going to be the mic which is going to be this one now you can run all of your um should i show let me see if this will work okay you can see the 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 voice here i think i do need to show this oh that's terrible okay yeah i'm killing you huh you can see that i've got the setup here with the uh, um, um, I'm, I'm just trying to think. Should I? Is this good to do it this way? Let me. Oh, I should turn this off. Yeah. I, okay. Let me turn off. Ah, see, I got to go back to the. Whatever. Just bear with this. Okay. So this this mic auxiliary is my mic. The top one is desktop audio. I renamed it uh, to desktop audio because it's getting. The, uh, I know, I gotta explain this. Chat 2, this is, um, that is where I assigned Zoom to go through. Let's just go there, let's just go there. This is rough, I know, let's go there. Okay, under the sound preferences, you're gonna have this thing. You come up with the sound, I don't know if you see it. Oh, you don't even see it, for crying out loud, okay. Um... Oh, maybe you do see it. Okay, sorry. I have all these windows open. All right. You do see it, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm assuming you see it here. Let me go back here. Okay. So under this, you have, look at this, man. I got the output as music too, which is goes to my Go XLR. If, um, under advanced sound options, when you, get your go xlr it's going to set up all of these chat game these hel helicon um options to system system is all of it together which i don't use because i want to actually control it through obs because i you know i want to so those three channels i have um the first one is the let me look at it real quick the first one i set up i believe this is the okay is the chat which is where i have the zoom coming in then the second one is the mic uh, chat here. And then the second one is um, me, which is the mic. And that one's interesting. That one is chat and mic, chat mic, which you don't see on here. Yet it gives you the option here because of a, it's, it's part of the uh, microphone XLR outputs. And then the other, the third channel I have goes to music, which I assigned a foundry. Foundry goes to one of these music ones. And it's right here. Here, when I run Foundry, let me get... Oh, it is running. Oh, the music's not running, though. Let me run the music. Okay, so when I run Foundry... Sound. Right here, it's default. Oh, well, default is output is music. Okay, up above. So that's, the, that's what default is. Now, um, I've changed some of them, though. Zoom, on the Zoom, is changed to... Um, chat. The let me just show you. Can't start video. That's fine. The chat here is set to chat. Select my microphone, which is chat mic, which is what I'm using. But the output, see the select speaker is chat. See, look at all these these na these helicons. They show up now as as part of your speaker options. So the speaker now is chat. So Zoom comes out of there, uh, out of chat, and there's chat mic, which I don't know why they call it chat mic, because it should just be called mic. But it works like mic coming out of Helicon, coming out of the GoXLR. I don't know why it's called chat mic. That confused me. I'm confusing you. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to bring the OBS back. Let's turn the music down. 
Okay, so here we've got... Ugh. All right, so I've got the three channels here. You can see the music is coming through. And I se obviously I selected... Um, that's um, music. Music is like kind of like the default. That's what I've said. I guess I could have kept it default, but I kept it in music because it's only... That way I know which things are going to music. Foundry's going to music. Oh, actually music is default in the in the sound settings. Okay. But that's only because... Um, let's see if you can see this. I've chosen it as my gen, as my basic um, music output, right? On on the, the the Windows, you know, sound, sound... What's this thing called? The, you know, the thing on the toolbar, the taskbar, the, you, you choose... You know, you open your settings or whatever, and you choose, you know, speaker, TV speaker, whatever. I'm choosing music from Helicon. So because I'm choosing that, Foundry is going through there, and, um, um, that's it. Because the, because what I'm, I'm making Zoom go through chat, okay? Now, you could actually set it up so that they all go through the Go XLR, and then you can adjust the volumes there, which everyone really likes to do. Why am I? I'm looking, actually looking. Everybody likes to, to have all of these channels go through the system, or go through the chat. They can go through chat music um, in the uh, XLR in this guy. It's getting killed here. Oh, the zoom. See, the zoom killed my camera, for crying out loud me see if I can start that up again yeah they they don't like each other um, in OBS you activate and activate okay I don't even know how long I was sitting there frozen but um, desktop audio is chat that's where zoom is going through I know I'm going over this again and again my voice is going through chat mic, which I th I wish it was just called mic, mic. And then music is where I signed Foundry and the PC, the Windows, the Windows PC, where whatever, whatever sounds coming out of my PC will go through music, which is the sound settings of that I set, you know, I changed uh, from the on the in the Windows setting or in, just in that little, you know, the taskbar. Oh, it's down at the bottom for most people. You know, that little thing, select your sound output, that thing that I chose is music. Again, or oh, like I said, most a lot of people can have it, especially if you're um, if you're live streaming. I don't live stream yet. And I don't. I kind of like recording it and then uploading it, just to, so I have a little more control over what goes up there, and I like to keep a file for myself. But um, if you're doing a live stream, obviously this is good because you can have it all go through here, and you control the different volumes. But I'm not doing that because I want to control it through OBS, and and that way when I go into my Premiere. I can, uh, I have those three different tracks recorded. That's another thing I'm doing. I'm the reason I've split it up into these three tracks is so that it, um, I can have those in premiere and adjust them if I need to, um, or mute one if I need to, you know, uh, when I'm doing it, I've never, I've, 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 I've adjusted volumes there, um, for me and for the players, uh, all the time. But, uh, so that's why I'm keeping this setup. So this setup is more for capturing it and then, Upload, you know, pr going to Premiere, adding a couple things or whatever I do, and then, and then upload to YouTube. So that is kind of a unique setup. Uh, I don't know how many people actually do that. I think most people just live stream, which I haven't done yet. Anyway, so I think maybe now that I have the Go XLR, I can start, I can set that up where, you know, I can do that. Um, though I don't know if I want to do that yet. Anyway, so that's my setup that I'm doing now. Um... Uh, just wanted to go through that because of the people YouTubing and maybe this will just kind of give you some warnings and mishaps that I've gone through. <sighs> I think that's it. If you got any questions or complaints, I go ahead and let me know. I get it. Uh, but I'm just, I hope this is a little helpful to you. I'm just blasting through it because that's my style. Uh, hope this was, yeah, again, hope this is helpful. Okay. <laughs>